our, uh, our first day of coverage here on this two-day Virginia State Eight Ball Championship, and we're going to find ourselves in a with a real thriller just about set to go. The uh, the Virginia Beach uh, star Eric Moore uh, is back to play. Um, a truly formidable champion, uh, Mr. Warren Kiyomko from the Republic of the Philippines. Uh, Mr. Kiyomko has been steadily in the top 20 uh, players in the world for uh, almost two decades. He's a tremendous player, uh, just plain and simple assassin. And uh, Eric Moore hasn't been playing so much. I spoke to him at length and he said that he had been working as a longshoreman down in the Virginia Beach area where he's from. And uh, But Eric is a truly great great player in his own right. Uh, he's he's going to have to play uh, his absolute best against Mr. Kiyomko. Uh, this is a race to seven eight ball World Pool Association eight ball rules. The eight does not count on the break. And this is alternate break format. Scratch on the break, cue ball in hand, behind the heads, behind the, anywhere on the table. Eric breaks the balls. And looks like he came up dry and now Kiyomko at the table. Kiyomko played here earlier this year. In, in February, we had the Virginia State 10 ball championships here, and uh, he was the runner up to the great Russian star, Mr. Uh, Ruslan Chinikov. And uh, Ruslan really put the whip on Warren that day, but Warren's a tremendous player. True assassin, great player. And, and, and my man Buck is back in the booth. Uh, I, I, can, I can see him coming. And we got, uh, we got Eric Moore, who broke and, and, and broke dry, versus Mr. Kiyomko. Yes, uh, Buck is back, George, and we got a really good match here with us. Uh, and honestly, with Eric saying he hasn't been playing as much lately, he played pretty good that first match. Um, he ran, what, two racks? and uh, he, was, he, was, he was a threat several more and made a couple mistakes that, 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 that kind of uh, corroborated his statement that he hasn't been playing as much because uh, of, the, of the type of mistakes that he made, speed control errors, Couple times and yeah, I don't, I, I don't think he missed shots. I think it was his, it was more of a speed thing more than any, more than anything. But any mistake here, and you know, that's that was it. that was mighty impressive. Kiyomko is that's, really, that's a really good shot. His uh, it looks like looks like his 14 ball is probably his key ball. Uh, that's about parallel with the eight. He play, might play high right ball on the 15 and go inside the four to the 12. Yeah. He changed his name. He changed his name. He keeps getting good at baseball. I don't. I don't think he got to the 11 good. He'll draw. He'll just draw to the twelve in the side pocket. And yeah, George. I don't, I, I don't think he wanted to bump those balls, but he got good here. Oh, he's he he draw back be, about a, about a foot and a half, two feet, and he, little he's farther, starting. little farther than he like. But he's 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 loving it. Yeah, he'll just roll this in. Stop he's just shot. a little bit farther. Stop shot, Fourteen. Stop shot on the eight ball. He's a little farther away. He'll be a foot or so farther away than he was before. Would have been. Yeah. 
Eric broke and, 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 and didn't make the ball. And Plays a perfect out there and and, and uh, snatches a one to nothing lead in this uh, race to seven. This will be the last match uh, on, on the winner's side that we're going to see tonight. I do believe that's my information. Yes, sir. This is the last match on the winner's side for the men. But after the men's winner's side, we will have the women's championship, the finals. So whoever wins that will be the Virginia State Eight Ball Championship on the women's side here coming up after this match. To uh, right now, George. It looks like uh, looks like Kia Kia Sidbury and uh, uh, and, uh, and maybe Bethany Sykes are in that mix over there. Yeah, definitely. Um, I believe Bethany is undefeated. I, th I think both of them are undefeated. So whoever goes to the finals, one will have to win one in the loser side, and then. The other one will have to come back and beat the winner two times. No, not, or, not here. This is this is a modern only one oh, set. They do an extended race. Extended race. Okay, so one set, extended race for the winner. That's how that's how our action pool tour events are now. Got it. Got it. So 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 no t no double loss, just an extended race for, for the right. Finals. Warren loses his toy in the side pocket. And George, the first match that he did on him, he scratched in the side pocket his first break two against Waymark. So let's see what let's see how Eric capitalizes here. He has an open he has an open table, so with where the the way the He high loves the stripes. Yeah, the way the high balls are land, you gotta take the you gotta take the high balls here. Let's see how he works them. I like the fourteen. 11, 13. Mm hmm. Or the 14, 13, 11. So, yeah, because you take care of one side, work your way down, and if you do get if you do get out of line. 14, got, 13, 11, yeah. And then you got the eight ball down in jail on the other side. So, if you want to play a safe, you can always play safe. You got options in the position that he's in. But I like Eric's uh, chances of getting out here all the way. No safe all the way out. He's going to go inside the th three ball and, and be straight at a good angle on the 12. Oh, he went under it. I thought he would go straight in front of it. He's he went under it. 12 balls, the one he wants. He can play the 10-9. In fact, I like the 10-9 better. Yep, and he has room to come to the rail off the nine. Very nice, Eric. Very nice. Stop. Now just make sure you've got chalk on your stop. tip. You just draw it back about an inch. Nah, he'll stop it. He'll stop it. Stop, stop it. Yep. Good enough. Yes, sir. Most other than a break, the most powerful shot in the game. Stop shot. Yep. Perfect. Very nice. That's a that's a really good answer right there. In the race, in the short race of seven, every game counts. So they give you an open table at this level. You got to get out. And Eric just uh, accomplished his. He hit. He held the serve. So let's see if he get a decent break here and and maybe get one up on one because you definitely need any advantage you could get playing Warren Kiamko. He's tough money. So. One apiece. Both these gentlemen are professionals. Uh, Eric is, uh, is 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 a is a local pro. Uh, well, Warren Kiyanko is a five-star pro. Well, George, I, I I've always had an issue with that pro amateur in the pool world, right? Because according according to a lot, you have a full-time job. You're not a pro. Eric, he he don't he doesn't play pool for a living. Hmm? Well, okay. He but not play pool for a living. But okay, but here's but here's here's my 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 side of the story. It's uh, it's like the, another scratch. Damn, he hit those good. The Fargo the Fargo rating for Eric is uh, 
in the 700s. Probably, probably 700. Probably 700. So, but you have guys like Brian Parks who's won an amateur championship six times and he's still considered amateur. And he's won tournaments against Francisco Bustamante, Oscar Dominguez, and then he still goes and plays the APA championship and wins it. Bobby Jones was like that in golf back in the 1920s. <laughs> But, he, but he, he was born on third base and swore he had a triple. He, he was in a low-life golf professional. What do you mean? In the 1920s, golf professionals were just, they were, they were like hired hands. They okay. Were, they weren't nearly uh, held in the esteem they are these days. Got it. But okay, so Warren Scratch, Eric Scratch. Let's see if Warren answers with another run out. With another run out here. This is a this is a pretty demanding layout it's here. Very, very demanding. But he, uh, he, uh, if he if he can get to the two ball uh, in the side pocket, this was rolling to. Yeah. And I was going to play two in a corner, maybe. It's just hard. No, two I doesn't go in any corner. Two doesn't go in any corner. Uh, I can't. I I have to pull my phone up and watch the stream and look to make sure I get a good angle. Cause for where I'm sitting, I don't have a good. I don't can't see very well. Put it like. And that. you know what? And that's one of the things with this sport. We got VIP seats and we can't see it very true. true. What we see, what the player sees. You ask me the. Remind you of that, and that you had an idea. Warren, Warren is going to have to back cut the one in the side pocket. I don't know if he's got much else. Other than the, the four ball that he doesn't want to shoot. Well, was that a was that a tender shot? Looks like he is going to get out. have to draw his ball yeah, he's back straight. to where he is. <laughs> and buy a, buy a shot in the six in, uh, in the upper left corner on your screen. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's funny because you see his face and, you know, we say, we say, oh, he could just draw the ball back to him and it's pretty easy, but he doesn't like it because they play for really small margins. They aim small, miss small, they want to land on the exact spot. So if they can't get there, they're not really happy on the top level. That's a little bit farther than he'd like too. Yeah. But again, his margin, he aims so small, his margin, he has a little bit of margin if he doesn't get where he wants. So he'll probably roll this in and have an eight in the side of the green. Oh, nope, corner. I not like the speed. <laughs> Pretty demanding layout, but he, he navigated it. Yes, he did. Very impressive run out.
two one Warren and his break. Let's see how he breaks these balls here. You think he may may line up different, change his stroke a little bit, or because he's scratching the side pocket. I think this is the third time today he's scratching the side pocket. Both these gentlemen have played on this table already, Both so they they know they know what the deal is. I agree, but it seems like it's been a a, a tough table to break on all day. We've seen a lot of scratches, a lot of dry breaks. Been breaking really hard today, so. But the, the best, some of the better breaks I've seen today did come from Warren. He squatted that cue ball right in the middle of the table a few times playing Raymark. So he had three or four really good breaks. And he had two two or three not so good breaks. So let's see if he gets it on track with uh, squatting that cue ball how he was. <clears throat> but that would be, you know, like I said, that might be my one adjustment, but I'm not running anything, you know, about the entry fees. Okay. For, I see what you're for guys like this. Would you think he should definitely should be a little bit higher than what, say, Eric Moore, who's, you know, semi-pro pro, but he's a touring pro, so. Two, two, I'd, I'd say, uh, I I'd say, I'd here. say, like, <laughs> two, uh, two to 250 is, is because, because they're going to be even money or less in the Calcutta, so. You, you might as well make him, make him pay to get in, because because otherwise uh, it's unfair to guys like Eric, because they're underdogs. Or you know, it's not. You know, but 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 but, but pool is pool is one of those sports where it's, you know it's it's a very uh, you gotta have a lot of balance with. You don't want to lean it too much to the underdogs. You don't want to lean it too much to the top players. You got to find a very good, happy medium for everybody, right? Well, you see, the Action Tour doesn't offer any handicaps in terms of uh, games on the wire or balls like some handicap events will do. Right. And, uh, and the beauty of that is going to probably break the three out here. Yeah. But uh, um, what the what the thing is is <laughs> the thing is is that uh, pressure. But, but uh, I've seen I've seen pool rooms that ran daily tournaments with handicaps. Just nobody play anymore because they knew exactly what they knew handicap wise from their fellow people, and nobody'd get up and play with less. And. Uh, and, and everybody just sat around and knitted all day. Nobody played or practiced. You, you know what? You, you know what happens in that. And a lot. Well, one of the handicap tournaments I play in, it's more for the break pop more than anything. The top players, the middle, the mid, the mid tier players still play. The top players only want the break pop because they gotta give up too much weight. He was playing for the uh, six ball yeah. got away from him, or seven ball he got away from him. Yeah, he got he definitely got a little long there. I think that's one of the first serious positional uh, mistakes I've seen in the two matches that we've commentated. But he, yeah, he he just pointed to where he thought he was going. Yeah. But let's let's see how he recovers. He's gonna go with two in. It's kind of kind of weird on this ball too. Come on, well, he's all right. Yeah. 
It's going to be one, one, two, three cushions. High left ball. You don't have to make this though. You can buy with this ball. There you go. He does. He hit all center diamonds. He, he hit it so good. But, but that's, that's a shot that I bob. I bobble that shot often. <laughs> Trying to spin it and throw the ball a little bit too much, and it looks easy. That's a that's kind of a tough shot there. Well, it's a missable shot. Should I put it like that? Kiyomko takes a three to one lead. The beauty of this tour, though, is you can get to play at champions like this for forty, fifty dollars, and, uh, and 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 you get a chance to uh, mix it up with the best players in the region, and occasionally the world's best players on this tour. We've seen them all: Ruslan Chinakov, this James Aranis, or Koyo, Alcano have played this year. Roberto Gomez won down here earlier, earlier in the summer in June. I remember that, yeah. Uh, and he's a great player too. He's another guy with over 800. That it was a, it was a joke. He made it look so easy. It was just silly. Eric's break is uh, deserting him here. Look like a like big bad Leroy Brown, like a jigsaw puzzle with a couple of pieces gone. <laughs> Eric just kind of looked up at the heavens. He was, he was reaching for the moon that time. I don't blame him. He, he was, ooh. Leaves Eric nothing but a, but a, but a handshake on the 14 ball. That's about it. Bell plays 12 in a side. Very good shot from Eric Moore. Might have to punch it to the first dime and, and bypass the 5 6. He did exactly what he did. A little short, though. I'm gonna play. Looks like the 15 ball. Yeah, 13 in the side. Oh! Oh, man. That's chilly. Thought he hit it good. Tough pockets. It's a, it's a diamond four and a half pro table. Um, four and a half inch pockets in the corners. Any balls that don't hit the pocket don't go down generally. Yeah, you definitely, definitely got to shoot true on these tables. The side pockets give you a little bit more opening. Not, not much though. Not, not much. 
But see, but the thing about side pockets, they might have a little bit bigger opening, but the further you get up the table or down the table away from the side pockets, it gets smaller because of the angle. Of course. So, even though it might be a little bigger, the angles make them a lot steeper when you're trying to come into them. He's looking at possibly that his 5-6 is a, is a, is a, a viable combination. Mm, it's tough. Yeah, it's well, tough. he's only got the uh, outside half of the hole. Yeah, I think, I think he's going to try yeah. to find a way to get into those balls off of this three, I think. I think he's trying to get... Get on the no. three and come off that back rail behind it. I got him playing. I got him playing a high right to this shot, coming off, coming off two rails and coming off the back of the six. I can see that shot too. See what I'm saying? Yes, sir. There, in there. And yes, sir. One rail by the our last diamond, by the middle diamond, and coming to the six ball. Let's see what he does. But yeah, I think he's gonna play the three next. No, he's gonna go. He's gonna play the three. And or he's gonna play this combination from there. He would have. He wouldn't be playing shaped to a three ball like that. Well, I thought. Yeah. I thought he get an angle to come into it a little higher and come off one rail and roll into the cue ball. But I don't know. Let's see. This is a shot here. Yeah. And he took care of it. Too good. He took care of it. That was tough. Wasn't the easiest thing in the world. Yeah, he's great. And he's 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 been the uh, top twenty of the world players for twenty years. This gentleman, all business, a stone cold assassin. Like an accountant that just uh, completed a ledger. It's it, it, it's so tough because you you can play good, but you just walking in playing this guy, you know, like well, if I miss a ball, it's probably two. If it's my break and I miss a ball, that's two games I'm giving away because <laughs> he's not gonna miss. And it, even when he does get out of shape a little bit, he's such a good shot maker that he gets back in line. It's it's hard it's hard to do that other than this keep is, your serve. This is why all of us that w when we played. We put all this time in so we could get a chance to even mix it up with guys like this. Exactly. Just to be, just to play with them. Not on the same level, but just to get out there and be able to hit some balls and get maybe give them a run for their money. In my lifetime, I've beaten three Hall of Fame players. And, who, and what three are those? I'm really curious. I beat Miserac once. Steve. Okay. Um, uh, Jim Rampy uh, one time. Rampy. And no, only two. Uh, Them two. He wasn't in the Hall of Fame. No. Who was the other? Who was the other one? Uh, the the other the other one was uh, a player from the Midwest who was. Uh, he uh, died ahead of his time. Mm -hmm. he, oh, he is in the No. When that, that's how that's how Warren's been breaking. Uh, that's that's been his good breaks. He squat that cue ball right in the middle of the table. one. And uh, it's hard, man. It's hard. He's been, he hasn't been breaking great, but his good breaks have been just like this. One set tied up, the other set wide open, and you know, he's these are, he's off to the races. These are between routine. The seven ball is his key ball. I want to see how he how he take care of this. I'm curious. Does he leave the ball? Does he leave the three ball for shape or take care of it now? Yeah, I'll take care of it now too. Come two rails, two, back out, straight in on the five ball. He's gonna, 
He's going to play for the four in the side, two in the corner. Punch. punch. Five, five, four, two, seven, eight. No, four goes in the corner. Can't see it from our vantage point. Yes, sir. Yep, it goes in the corner. Play the two next. Seven. Yeah, it's, 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 it's easy. I did, couldn't, but I can't see what, what the player sees. Or maybe you could. They can see it a little bit better. A little bit better from that angle too. Uh huh. So that way we have two angles. Well, three angles. Two computers in our in our eyes. Try to get all the angles. He's missed one ball. Pool, pool is a game of really small margins. The difference between, you know, a world class, you know, a world champ and, you know, a semi pro, regular pro is not that. It's the small things they do different. It's the speed control, you know, moving the ball an inch this way instead of three inches that way. It's the, it's the little things that make them so it's, good. It's also how, how they hold their rhythm and their, their thought rhythm and the mm -hmm. fact that they're able to switch from their, uh, their, their analytical brain to their uh, sensory brain. Yes, sir. It's so, it's so many small things. There's so many little things that they do. It's no one huge thing. There's no one big thing. There's a lot of small things where they take their time, the way he lo looks over the entire rack. Pre-shot routine's the same. It's just very good to watch. But... I could kind of see uh, Eric's mom probably running and then saying, uh, I got some work to put on this table here this weekend when I get finished with the tournament to get these things breaking and running right. I'm definitely sure his mind is thinking that right now while he's trying to rack these balls right. I say his mind is going back to the longshoreman where he's going to make 30 and change an hour and have all the benefits that you could have never imagined. Nah, Eric's a pool player. He's not worried about that right now. He's worried about pool. <laughs> two, there you a go. couple of balls go in, a couple of stripes, might have been two stripes. That, yeah, oh, oh, I know, yeah, he ain't, it, it was a, a break shot. You know what I'm saying, the margin of the error is so small that you could make one mistake and you're down three or four games. Same thing that happened at Raymark. Raymark broke, broke dry on his break. So Warren won that rack out, ran his rack out. Raymark scratched on his break coming around, and now he's up three racks. And then Raymark held his serve, but it went back and forth, back and forth. He's already up, so he won 7-4. It's just how it goes. Pool is a is a beautiful, tough sport. Very small things, very a lot of stuff that you don't see going on, but the players know. They're spinning the ball a certain way. It hits a rail with a certain English on it. It's, it's amazing to watch. I'm in heaven. Is that right gonna here. get Come to on. Get to that rail. It got to a rail. There's Mr. Ray Mart. Yeah, we got we got Ray Martin I'm here checking out the He's treacherous. the winter side the winter side match here between Eric Moore. We got a couple Virginia Beach people watching. Uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia Beach. Eric Moore play Warren Kiamko, and you know it's the APT, and you know everybody, you know everybody has a chance, and there's no favorites. But at the same time, if you got a local guy playing a world beater, you always root for the local guy. So I definitely would love to see uh, Eric pull this out and you know uh, get a win here. But it's like I said, it's tough money against Warren. He doesn't miss much. He doesn't do much wrong. Look at this. Well, but that didn't work out in his favor there. So let's see how we try to remedy to this. Eric could have a good chance, depending on what he leaves. Depending on what Warren leaves. This ball might be straight in the corner pocket. Does it go past the five? Oh, I didn't. I didn't think it went past the five from here. Huh. I didn't. I didn't think it went past the five. 
Uh, that's a really good shot. Come in behind it. Come in behind the two ball. Yeah, he's gonna hit it here and get that two ball out of there. Oh, oh, he missed the two all together. Might be another chance. But I think that's the third or fourth mistake I've seen him make in between playing Eric and Raymar. He's only made three mistakes maybe between both matches, maybe four. Got him coming cross table to that first diamond and the two to the uh, to the uh, upper left pocket on your screen. Oh my! Look at this. Warren wanted to go into the two ball there, even though he got it out where it has a pocket now, but he leaves himself kind of tough to get back to the one from here. Well, you see he's coming off the rail. He goes in behind the eight. Uh, yeah. He's going to almost, he might have to play the one. He's going to go high left, come off one rail, and come in between. High left. That makes it a little harder to sit on the rail. But being who he is, I think I like. He plays to the eight ball in the top left corner. Yes, sir. But this is a tester. It's definitely a tester. Sitting on the rail, long, straight in. Let's see how he handles this. He missed it. That's yeah. on his second ball he's missed. Second ball, he's missed two balls and he uh, he's missed shape twice. That's it. Other than that, he's played a really good match. Well, a few good matches. Take a look at the nine, Eric. All right. better than a lot of people are watch. Play angles, stay down, get through the shot. He's on the 50 yard line. Yeah. I like I like to cut the 12 here. Mm -mm. He's gonna go two cushions to the 12 in the side pocket. Yeah. High right. Well, he played, played one rail across to the corner pocket mm -hmm. or the side. He was that playing two stop. pockets. Yep, stop shot, stop shot. So, see, that's the, the, that's the thing I need to learn right there. You give yourself options. If he goes too far, he has it in the side. He comes up good. He has it straight on. Oh, he still played it in the side. I thought he was going all the way up. I thought he was going all the way up. He still played it in the side. Very nice out, Eric. Way to keep the pressure on. Because a lot of times, you, a lot of times you'll see in these tournaments, you know, you play these top guys, but you give them a run for their money, you put a little pressure on them. They might give you a ball here, miss a ball there, because they got somebody running on them. Not very likely, but you stand a better chance if you're getting out than if you're not. Thank you. 
Scores five to two. Warren's breaking. Let's see if he squats this cue ball again. I think uh, Virginia Beach had a real uh, strong showing here today. A lot of us out here. A lot of people watching this match. Of course, rooting for Eric. Cue ball got kicked up the table. He made a ball. He made two balls, I believe. Ooh, he has a shot. He's got a sweet shot on the stripe. Hmm? Side pocket. Yep. Yep, he has plus a shot. Plus 15 doesn't pass. The, uh, I, think, I think he's going with no balls here, George. One ball go. The one ball goes. I think he might go. I don't think he might go no balls here. It keeps coming. I don't know. I like the, I like the 14 in the side pocket. And you see, like, he, he, he's the top pro around, but he studies it so long to make sure to be sure what balls he's selecting. Like me, I get up there, I take, you know, 10, 15 seconds and I'm shooting. And this is a top pro and he takes his time. That's a lesson learned there, right? Take your time, find your pattern, find your run, plan it out, make sure you're sure, then play it. What ball is he playing? You're right, George. He's playing, he's shooting the 14. Yeah, he's shooting the 14. He, he, what's gonna happen is he's gonna come across the face of that two ball a little bit. No, he didn't touch it too. But <coughs> he was hoping it would. But he's got the 15 and to the 12. He's got to watch the one ball. Mm -hmm. He's got to watch. He's got to watch the one ball in the corner pocket. Well, he's got to watch the one ball. He's going to draw it, ain't he? Mm -hmm. No, his angle was a little sharp. Ah, uh, yeah, sharp. you're right. I had to lean a little bit to see. He definitely got a sharp angle. Like I said. He didn't like it. I knew he didn't like it. Well, so what do, you, what do you do there to avoid that one bar? You you, hold, you you use a little inside to throw the ball a little more, maybe shorten the angle, you yeah. draw it. He had nothing. He couldn't reach it to draw it. Ah. Uh -huh. He parks his rock in that corner pocket, but... It's tough from here. Look at that. It's tough. He's calling the 10 on the cross bank. Yeah. He's got to shorten it up. You're, going, you're definitely going to see him hit this with a little speed. Nice and firm. Oh! Yeah, he had to, had to hit it with speed. He hit it as good as he could hit it. You had to tighten that angle up a little bit with some speed. Sure. A little, a little bit of English, but it's hard when you're banking it and you're firing it like that. Let's see, Eric. Good, good, another game here. Yeah, he gets a game here.
Alrighty, I'm back on, folks. We had a little technical difficulty with our tape mic, but it looked like everything is back good. Was done, was done, done. Yeah, same pocket, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, come back across. Oh, it sounded like he miscued a little bit, maybe, but it still worked out good. Six games to two for Mr. Kiyomko. Just a, a, a terrific all-around player, too. Uh, he plays, plays all pocket games extremely well. Good break shot from Moore. He's pocketed a ball and he has a very attractive looking scoring opportunity, whatever way he decides to go. Nice shot. Alrighty, oh, Eric, this is one of those racks you need to. Take your time, shot by shot, and get through. He's not there. There you go. That was the only, I couldn't tell if it went past the 14 or not, so. I have something to work with. Just nice and easy. Stay focused, stay down, and take care uh, of business. He's out of line. Yep, he's out of line. Let's see how he... Coming off the rail, he might rub the eight. In between the eight and the 12 ball, I believe. I think that's a 12. Yeah. <laughs> Slow down. That works. He may, he may run into the 12 here just to call his shape. No pocket to bank it in. Maybe he could freeze him on the twelve on the back of the twelve ball. Oh, he's gonna. Oh wow! I didn't think it would. Nice shot, Eric. Eric Moore uh, staves off. Uh, a trip to the west side. <laughs> he he staves off a trip to the west side of the bracket, at least momentarily. <laughs> right. However, Five of us. 
Oh, what a break. Can't really tell from any other angles. It's about right right now. Oh yeah. I think he I think he can get the five now. Five, four, two, seven, eight. Yeah, it was hard to see from over here if he could get to it, but I'm like, yeah, he could get to the five. Tough ball. <clears throat> Gotta draw it to the same pocket. Yeah. You're dead, he's out. Tactician, man. He's definitely a tactician. Takes his time, reads the run. He ran a little long here, but he'll go down to the end rail and come back up. Yep. The condemned man ate yeah. a hearty meal. Back up. <laughs> well, maybe the blade must fall. Eric put up a good fight. Made a few mistakes, but it's tough playing Warren Kiamko. He's a great player, Warren Kiamko. Warren Kiamko defeats Eric Moore by the score of seven games to three. We'll be back in a few minutes with the uh, ladies' Virginia State eight ball championship match with the with the contestants to be announced. George Hammerbacher, Voice of the Action Pool Tour, Advanced Level Instructor, PBIA, Professional Billiard Instructor Association, Baltimore, Maryland. I'll be back in the booth with Buck for more, for more action. Thanks again to our sponsors.